The world is changing very fast, and I think what CCP has is our innovative approaches. Innovation is a part of what we do. Communication is the core of everything, whether it is providing tools and developing demand generation campaigns. No matter what you do, you are, in a sense, communicating in some way. And I think what we've learned from our work is it's not just random ad hoc communication. How do you bring in theory? How do you bring in the evidence to inform your communication so that it's efficient and effective? CCP is an organization that implements health communication programs around the world. We are working in social and behavior change communication programs, knowledge management, capacity strengthening, and research and evaluation. We're a unique organization as a center being part of a world-class school of public health that gives us literally daily access to the biggest minds in the business so that we can be constantly technically refreshed. The strength is that CCP draws from all the history because there's a lot of institutional memory in this organization. We have had people stay around for 15, 20 years, 30 years, and yet we have lots of new blood. In order to make sure that the programs we're implementing actually have the impact we're looking for, CCP employs a very systematic process that begins with listening to the stakeholders and the beneficiaries on the ground to really understand the problem that we're trying to solve. Health communication is critical to improving lives and communities through family planning. In Nigeria, what we did differently was to ensure that health communications is embedded into the clinical service. Not just the aspect of job aids and materials, no, but making sure health communication for the health workers, ensuring that the health workers' capacity is built to be able to communicate better to the needs of the consumer, the client, using that health communication lens. In Tanzania, we're using what we call the Communication for Social Change Framework, which requires us to work in multiple levels to influence the behavior. We're working at the community level where we have volunteers. These mobilize as community around you know, a number of malaria behaviors. Research was telling us that for the average Ugandan, what mattered to them was money in their pockets and that health was not a major agenda. We flipped it on its head, basically framed our work there that if you can take these very simple steps daily, you stay healthy, and when you're healthy, you're happier, your employer is happy with you, you make a lot more money. At Kafer Health, we always say that knowledge saves lives, um, and if people don't have the knowledge they need to do their jobs effectively, lives will be lost or quality of life won't be as high. So our job is really taking the information and the knowledge that's out there and translating it into user-friendly, accessible tools that people can then have in their hands to do their jobs better. I value the quality and the rigor of the work in CCP. Not just because we do programs that change lives and we can see it, but because we have the opportunity to go beyond what we have done in the past and we can challenge ourselves. So there's no limit. If you share our vision about how communication can change the world as we believe it can, let's work together. I believe CCP's future is bright. There's been no time where the importance of communication is better recognized. We invite others to join us as we move into the future and really use the power of communication to continue saving lives around the world. Oh